As we reported Tuesday, a new scientific study is shedding light on the particles that make up plastic water bottles. The study found a liter of bottled water could contain some 240,000 nanoplastics. Experts say those tiny pieces can break off and potentially enter our digestive tracts. Jamie Ross is an assistant professor at the University of Rhode Island. She has studied microplastics and their impact on the body. Um, we appreciate you spending some time with us here. Can you first of all talk about what, you know, what, what these microplastics and nanoplastics are? Sure, thanks for having me. So microplastics are anything smaller than five millimeters. And they could be um, made purposely for use in cosmetics or personal hygiene products, but they also can break down from larger plastics. So they could come from any plastic that there is and find their way into the soil, into the air, into our water system. Okay, so it's not just water, any pla anything that's made of plastic can have nanoplastics. In theory, yes. Okay. What has your research shown about nanoplastics and these microplastics and potential health risks? I know that people get, people get really worried when they hear it's going into their digestive tracts. So I want to be careful in, in talking about all of this. How, how concerned are you? So we've known for some time that micro and nanoplastics are present in food and drinks. And what we and others are trying to understand is how do they enter into our body? And once they are there, how long do they stay there? Where do they go? What do they do? And are they a, um, a cause for concern? Do they contribute to disease? So that is what we're really trying to understand. And so one study that we did is we, we gave micro and nanoplastics two different sizes that are chemically labeled with a red color, as you can see on the screen. Mm -hmm. And we gave them to mice of a younger age and an older age. And we wanted to see what the health outcomes were just after three weeks of treatment. And to our surprise, we found that the mice behave differently uh, just after three weeks of treatment. And mm. that also these particles, even the larger ones, were able to cross the protective layer that we have of the brain uh, called the, the blood-brain barrier. Things like that are not supposed to happen. They're not mm. supposed to get into the brain. And so now we're really trying to come up with new methods that are not yet developed to be able to quantify uh, the number of these particles that made it into the brain and other tissues of the body. But should we all be under this? Should I be under the assumption, you, everybody else watching, that we have plastic in our body right now? Well, we use mice, and mice are a ways away from humans. So we, not us personally, but other researchers have found that plastic particles are in human tissues. Um, every human tissue, including breast milk, they have found plastic particles. So... I'm pretty confident that they're there. Yeah. Now we need to know what are they doing and are they contributing to poor health? 